Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is reverse vowels of a string. So you're given a string S, you have to reverse only the vowels in the string and you just have to return the string after doing this reversal. Now let's take an example. So as you can see in the first example, H-E-L-L-O. So A-E-I-O-U-R, like vowels both in upper and lower case. So as you can see that E is a vowel and O is a vowel. So you just have to swap out, swap them out. In this case, E, E and then O and E is the vowel. So you can assume that you can take out E, E, C, E, then reverse the order inside these places and just put them back. So let us take the first, like this example only lead code to understand this all. Let us start that we have lead code as the input. Then take the input and find out how many vowels are there. E, E, O, E. Then what you can do is, that take these vowels out so these are in this order e e o e then reverse them out reverse the reverse manner is e o e e and then put them back okay so for the first position now you will put it e the second position you will put o this position you put o sorry not o you will put you will put e and you will again put e and then just fill the rest of the one. So this is D, this is C, this is T, this is a Leot C E D. Yeah, so that's the whole uh, overall thing. So I hope you understand the logic itself by the whole example that you just have to take out the vowels in some sort of a container. You can see some vector, reverse the vector and just insert it into the same position. So you just have to just check out that whether a particular position of particular character is a vowel or not for both upper and lower case. Okay. So you can just directly in the solution part, what we have done is that just make a, what you can say, a function. Okay. To just check out whether a particular character is vowel or not. So you can just, just check out a particular character that it is AEIOU in the smaller or in the upper case. Now what you can directly do is that you can just iterate over this a uh, whole string and just make a vector of characters name as let's say anything v o w which is just storing out vowels so when you are editing over this whole string if at any character you find out that it is a vowel just push that particular character inside this v o w array now you have that particular character stored now you just have to reverse out all the characters and again now you have to again iterate over the whole string again and wherever you find out a vowel just try to take out elements from the new string like the reversed array that you have formed and insert it inside the string and now you got the new string so that's the whole thing you just have to take out the vowel so this is o of n then reverse will also take o of n and this is again iteration so o of n so total of o of n is the total time complexity for this particular problem so that's the overall logic and code part nothing too much difficult you can just pause on this video and try to write it down of your own as well after seeing this code so that it will uh like store in your memory for long time so i don't think so that is too much difficult you can practice it a lot of problems i have on lead code medium hard and uh, easy problems as well so you can check out the channel for that so thank you for watching till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye